Now the next stage is called the ISAM stage. This subsequent stage, uh, phase of development is referred to as ISAM, which means bones. And the fetus does indeed acquire uh, a cartilaginous skeleton after the mudka stage. Those of you that have studied embryology realize that first of all you have what we call mesenchymal bones made out of connective tissue, then they become cartilaginous, and then they become uh, ossified and become uh, bones, solid bones. The formation of the bone does not begin uniformly throughout the body. Rather, there is a sequen sequential appearance of bony tissue. In recent decades, the process of osteogenesis in the human embryo has been reasonably well documented. Bone development in the limb limbs commences in the embryonic limb buds from these mesenchymal or connective tissue cells. Primary ossification centers appear in the femur during the fifth week, the femur is your thigh bone, uh, and in the sternum, it's breastbone, and the maxilla, jaw, during eight to nine weeks. The timing of the exam phase has been mentioned in the following hadith. He simply show these various stages when at this stage the bones in the limb would be cartilaginous. The same here, we're starting to get little uh, indications of the uh, bones uh, developing. And then this hadith says, when 42 nights have passed from the time of the nutva, that is the time of conception, Allah sends an angel to it who shapes it and makes its ears, eyes, skin, muscles, and bones. In the early phase, part of this phase, the embryo takes on a human appearance, Tazwir Adami, and the Hadith describes this with the word shapes. Before the 42nd day, it is difficult to, to distinguish the human embryo from the embryos of many animals, but at this stage it becomes clearly distinguishable in its appearance. Uh, I couldn't tell a mouse embryo from a human embryo or a rabbit embryo in those very early stages. So as this hadith is clear is that after this uh, 40th day when uh, the angel uh, sends an angel to it with shapes it and so on that it takes on its human characteristics. Accompanying this development is a straightening of the embryo described by the word sawa. During this period, the embryo becomes more erect and acquires a more evenly rounded body. Some of the generalized cells of the embryo begin to differentiate into various lines and modify into different functional moieties. This process results in straightening and the formation of organs necessary for viability. As the Quran describes, when God created you, then, and the word fa means then, made you even and straight, sawak. And then fa, again, modified you, adalak, and uh, so on. According to uh, the table, and is that on the slide, the table? Showing the different stages. Here's the, here's the table which you're referring to. You can see these stages listed the uh, along the side here, and uh, you have the shaping stage and, and so on. These are all correlated with the age and days and the uh, actual size of the uh, embryo. According to this uh, table, which compares the three ayat on the stages of development, it is apparent that the Islam stage corresponds with the straightening stage, Taswiya. The word sawak in the Quranic statement indicates the following. First, to straighten the position of the body from a bent position and to also to make uneven things leveled. The embryo at the seventh week has a bent back, thus taking the shape of the letter C during the mudga stage. In the Izam stage, the bending position is straightened and the surface becomes more even due to the disappearance of prominences and depressions. Now the LAM stage, although precursor cells, which we call myoblasts or early muscle cells, are present adjacent to the developing bones, differentiation into skeletal muscle attachments appears after the ossification process in the shaft and the ends of the bones. 
I was asked many times, did the bones be appear before the muscles? Well, they certainly do. If you want to be logical about it, you wouldn't have muscles until you had something to attach them to. So you have bones and then the muscles. And this is clearly uh, stated in the Quran that the bones appear first. A major developmental landmark during the eighth week is the Lam stage, which describes the myogenesis, that is the formation of muscles, uh, which marks the development of the definitive muscles in the trunk and the limbs and the beginning of movement. The muscles take their position around the bones, that is clothing the bones, and continue the process of straightening and smoothing, taswiya. In other words, as the muscles develop, they straighten the embryo up, which uh, the straightening and smoothing which began in the Izam stage. It is now known that the gonads, that is the developing sex glands, differentiate into testes and ovaries at this time, that is during the eighth week. And the Quran refers to this development as well.